this is Trigger Moon, and I feel like I do this intro the same with every single video. But hey, you're watching Gam Talk, and this is a video about Hunter. Now, most Hunter videos are very similar, you know, because it's all about getting those headshots and whatnot. But I found this one quite fun when I thought about it. This is a support build. You're not trying to do a lot of damage. You will do a lot of damage, but you're not trying. That's not your goal. You're a support build here. This is to heal. This is a healer. If you don't have a Ronin in your team, and you're trying to mi mix things up and be like, hey, I want to be the healer, well, this is what you do. So let's dive in. Uh, so katana-wise, you're going to be calling your ultimate a bit more because you have a gourd with injured resolve. So you can put that ultimate damage. That'll help. Melee resolve will gain you a bit more of that resolve. And wave the flame, as always, to mow down those spear oni. Now, a few things you can change here, depending on the techniques. So I'm going to go through this first, and then I'll show the next setup. So, for this setup, range damage, headshot damage, and helmet piercing ammo, you can go with um, reload speed or draw speed. I prefer draw speed. If you'd like, just to save some time, and I would definitely replace the headshot, not the range, because they're both in itself the same amount of damage when it comes to headshots and hits, although... Range is 12%, headshot's just 10. So, if you want to get rid of one for reload or draw, get rid of headshot. Now, for the charm. For the charm. Range damage, headshot damage. This is a lot of damage that you're having right now. Blessed arrows, or blessed arrows, whichever, however you want to say it. It heals every time you get a headshot. Now, the healing range is quite small. So, when it comes to healing yourself, uh, it's difficult. So, unless you're real close... You're not going to be healing yourself. That's why it's a support build. You're there to heal other people. So even when you're calling your ultimate, you will be healing everybody in that range. You can even call it out to your teammates. Be like, oh, I'm going to headshot those guys. Go there so you get some heals. And the more headshots you get, the more heals there. And with the stone skipping bow, well, you're getting a lot of headshots with one hit. Now, sticky bomb, blast radius, just is just so you can revive better because you don't have a smoke. And as I said, you have two legendaries here. Reason why is because if you're trying to help out and you're being the support, you might want to be able to heal a bit more than just with your headshots. So take that sacred char uh, take that sacred uh, gourd and heal everybody up. Less damage, injured resolve. There you go. Now the techniques for this setup. So staggering bow. You're not going to go with explosive bow because we don't have that fire setup, so it'd be a waste. So staggering bow. Like I said. If you want to heal yourself, you're going to have to be close. So, might as well put the 50% extra headshot damage within 12 meters. And with this setup, because we have helmet piercing, you might want to refill on that ammo from time to time. This is useless because you're not really, you don't have a fire build, you're not poisoning anybody. It's, it's kind of useless. And this, well, we'll talk about that after. You got two legendaries, there you go. That's why I have this equipped. Now! Next up, the second setup. If you were to change this bow, helmet piercing, into headshot. Now, yes, I play a lot that I have different setups. Uh, headshot refund. This way you can shoot more often because you have almost infinite arrows. And then if you'd like, you don't need to have two legendaries. If you find that you're healing enough, so you can put whatever you want here. You could put a smoke, you could put a gourd so you can heal yourself more. Um, usually I would put a smoke with munition, but since you have, you know, infinite stuff, you could even, you could do whatever you want, really. This this doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You could put this to increase your, uh, your damage with the ghost weapons. It, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to put a gourd. That's a crap gourd. I'll put this gourd. It's a bit better. Okay. Now onto the techniques. You're gonna change, keep this, you're gonna change this to this. Because now that you have uh, ammo that comes back because of your bow, you're not piercing helmets anymore. So you're gonna team this up with either this or this. If you want the extra hits to be able to heal people, more people at once, because if you're shooting five people, that's more healing zones. Or if you're not confident in your headshots, and you want to do some body shots, which is why I equipped this, because to penetrate shields, then you're still going to get those headshots with a stone skipping bow. So, that's up to you if you want to choose this or this. 
up to you. I would go with this just for the safe side. And there you go. So let me show you how that's going to work. We're looking for some heals. And just as an example, because I said you need to be close, I'm just going to shoot this guy and be like, hey, yeah, he healed me a bit. Isn't that nice? Well, how kind of him? So definitely you need to be in those zones, that little zone there. Yeah. So as an example, if you were to call out to your friends who you're going to shoot with your ult, well, look, come over here. Come on, come on. Follow moi, follow moi, follow moi. If you tell them to be in the center, your friendlies, right? Okay. And you say, hey, I'm going to shoot right here. There are going to be a crap ton of zones of healing in just around here. Then you can do that. Look, I'm going to do it right now to heal myself. Oh, look at that. Look at all that healing. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? That's pretty nice. Now, Staggering Bow, you don't have smoke. So you just do this to help yourself out. Whee! I healed myself. Now, you can quick shot too. That's up to you. You can quick shot. Oh, I just got hit, but that's okay. Now I got that to got my resolve. Come on, give me some more resolve. There you go. I resolve because now I can get this. More ammo. Now, so what I was saying is quick shot. Quick shot. Quick shot. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is a fun build for me. It just mixes things up a bit. Um, so yeah, if you like it, please leave a like. Leave a comment. And of course, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.